I will be reading Zacchaeus Meets the Savior. In a town called Jericho, Zacchaeus used to live. He was a very wealthy man who'd rather get than give. His job? Collecting taxes for Roman rulers there. He'd often cheat, demanding more than what was his fair share. Because of this, he was disliked by folks in Jericho. Jericho. Zacchaeus didn't seem to mind. He loved his money so. So every day, he'd go about the duties of the day, collecting more than he was due and forcing folks to pay. Zacchaeus was a learned man who kept up with the news. He'd heard of Jesus Christ before, as had most other Jews. He often wished that he could meet this man who some called Lord, but he was so busy gaining wealth, he couldn't have time afford. But one bright day in Jericho was such a lovely day, Zacchaeus thought, I'll go collect past due accounts today. So off he went on down the street. He was feeling very good, just thinking of the tax he'd get, of course more than he should. His first stop was a widow's house. Her income was so small. She had a goat whose milk she'd sell that wasn't much at all. Although her income was so small, it always seemed to be enough to barely pay her bills and feed her family. Zacchaeus finally arrived at her front door and knocked, and when the widow opened it, she was a little shocked. He told her how much tax she owed. She said, you, he said, Anne said, you have to pay. Because your tax is overdue, you have to pay today. Zacchaeus knew how poor she was. Her income was so slight. He didn't care how hard it was. He wanted every mite. She hung her head, and in despair, she pleaded for more time. Zacchaeus, hardened as he was, said, No, I won't what's mine. She then explained, as best she could, how little he possess she possessed, but that she'd give him what she had, and in time, pay the rest. Zacchaeus said, Not good enough. I cannot be so lax. You own a goat that you can sell and promptly pay the tax. Good sir, she pleaded on her knees. My goat I cannot sell, for it's my only livelihood. I'd lose my house as well. Zacchaeus just would not be swayed. This tax you have to pay. I'll be back here tomorrow for the full amount. Good day. So off he went and checked his list for the next account due, past due. Then suddenly he heard a shout that Christ was coming through. As if from out of nowhere, the crowd seemed to appear. Zacchaeus thought, because I'm short, I'll never see from here. On both sides of the street, the crowds pushed to get ahead. Zacchaeus looked around and thought, I'll climb a tree instead. That's when he saw the sycamore. He climbed up high as he, this man who, so called, who was called Jesus, who had come from Galilee. Then Jesus stopped beneath the tree. Zacchaeus heard him say, Zacchaeus, come on down from there. I'll dine with you today. Zacchaeus really was surprised. How did he know my name? And could this Jesus and God's son really be the same? He rushed and scrambled down the tree, pushing through to Jesus's side. I never imagined you, my guest. I welcome you with pride. The crowd around was very shocked that Jesus went with him. They thought that Jesus shouldn't eat with one so filled with sin. Zacchaeus had a change of mind. Repentance filled his heart. He promised Jesus he would, for, he would from his evil ways depart. From now on I will cheat no more or take what isn't mine. And where I've cheated in the past, I'll pay them back four times. With joy, the Savior said to him, Salvation's come today, for you were lost, but you are found and saved your soul this day. For that is why I've come to earth, to search for men like you, that sinners all around the world might have salvation too.